We now have a generation type enumerator, and this allows us to quickly switch between the different generation types. So if you're working on a multiple building and you want to switch it up to a single building, for example, the underlying spline will update accordingly. We also have a new generation type mode called freeform single building, and this allows us to move around individual spline points however we want, and it will accommodate the shape of the building for you. There are some limitations to this uh, freeform single building, and that is mainly the interiors can sometimes get messed up, uh, and also the roof stuff, so just keep an eye out for that. We also have a couple new roof types, and they can be found under the roof type enumerator, so here we can easily switch between them. So before we only had the flat roof and the gable roof, but now we also have a hip roof, which looks like this and a shed roof which looks like looks like this the shed roof can be mirrored via the roof mirror shed and the height of the shed is controlled via the roof slanted height so if we turn this up to 500 you can see that's much steeper courtyards are now possible all we have to do is tick in the courtyard bool but before we do that we want to make sure that our building is sufficiently wide so make sure that it's pretty wide and then we can just tick it in and we can see that a courtyard appears in the middle and the width of the courtyard can be decided via the courtyard inset so if we change this to something like 200 you see that it's a very big courtyard and this is the distance between the outer wall and the inner courtyard wall so by increasing this we can make it smaller or larger and the roofs should adapt accordingly so if we have a flat roof it obviously works fine uh, the gable roof does is not compatible with the courtyards so it will automatically fall back to a a flat roof the hip roof works fine and the shed roof works fine as well we now have an option for async and it should be on by default and what this does is basically make sure that all the buildings aren't built on exactly the same tick so we're spreading it out kind of uh, and this only works if you have build on event play. So if we press simulate here, we can see that the buildings are built one by one, making sure that our FPS is a lot more stable than it would be otherwise. We also have an async fast option. And what this will do is that it will generate the buildings even faster. So instead of per building, it will generate per building generator. So this is per building generator. So if we want to activate on all three of these, we have to select all of the building generators and turn on async fast. So this is going to go very fast. It will basically build all of these buildings in three ticks. So it will lag more, but it will be faster. And here it is turned off.